Now we have come to the main step, the spawning. Oyster mushroom can be cultivated on the straws of paddy, ragi, wheat, coffee husk, sugarcane trash, etc. But the paddy straw is a common and the best substrate. Select the hard and clean dried paddy straw. Very smooth straw of this kind will hold more water leading to the decay. Let the straw be new without any fungal or mold growth. Otherwise, it will act as a source of contamination. It is easy to chaff the hard straw. It is good for the spreading of the fungal mycelium also. Chaff the straw for 2 inches length. Soak the same in clean water for 5 to 6 hours. Drain the water and fill the straw in the boiler. Boil it for 1 hour at 80 degrees centigrade temperature. This is pasteurization method to kill the contaminant microorganisms. Chemical pasteurization is also in practice. But it is not recommended here since it has some problems. Take out the straw from the boiler and drain the excess water. Spread it on the clean floor preferably in a closed place. But this farmer dries it under the sun for one hour so as to retain 60% of moisture. That means the water should not come out when it is squeezed like this. If the water content is more, it trickles down like this. More moisture hinders the growth of fungal mycelia leading to the decay of the substrate. Maintain absolute cleanliness from pasteurization to the spawning stage. If the dust sits again, the very purpose of sterilization fails. This is most important for the control of contamination and hence the success of the crop. Next step is spawning or mixing the fungal spores with the straw. Take a plastic tube of 80 gauge thickness, 16 or 20 inches diameter and 7 feet in length. Take a 7 foot long PVC pipe of 2 inches diameter. Drill 10 mm holes to the entire length at the rate of 2 holes at 3 inches gap. This pipe and the holes are necessary for the release of heat and the gases from the substrate in the spawn running stage. Otherwise, the straw will decompose. Still bigger pipe with more number of holes is better. A bamboo stick covered with plastic is provided for the support of the cylinder. Fold the plastic tube and tie the lower end tightly keeping the pipe at the center. Put two or three bricks at the bottom so that the cylinder and the pipe do not touch the ground. The people doing this job of spawning must wash their hands and apply spirit. Person putting the spawn should not touch the straw and vice versa. Pasteurized and cooled straw is put in a layer of two inches. Then the spawn is spread. Again a layer of straw. Repeat the same till the cylinder reaches 6 feet height. This needs around 2 to 3 kilograms of spawn. Recommended quantity of spawn is 3 to 5 percent of the dry weight of the straw. Let there be the spawn layer at the top. Tie the plastic tube tightly at the top, keeping the end of the pipe open. Plug both the ends of the pipe with non-absorbent cotton. This is to prevent the entry of insects inside. Fungal mycelium develops and covers the entire substrate of the cylinder in 15 to 20 days. This is called spawn running stage. 25 to 30 degrees centigrade temperature is good for this stage. Ventilation and light are not necessary. Fungal growth comes down if the temperature exceeds 35 degrees centigrade. Since the fungus grows inside the plastic cover, the outside humidity has no influence on it. Check the cylinders for any contamination. See, this bed has some unwanted growth. 
If the contamination is severe, take the entire cylinder out from the shed and destroy at a distance. Continue the spraying of chemicals twice a week. Close the holes in the plastic of the cylinder, if any. 